Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Side Projects. This one's all about the world's replica Eiffel Towers because people really hated the Eiffel Tower and then they really liked it and then people built replicas everywhere. I've seen a bunch of these. I've seen the real one, of course. I've, of course. <laughs> I've seen the real one. I've seen the fake one in Las Vegas. I've seen a fake one in China. I feel like I've seen a fake one elsewhere. But uh, anyway, enough about me. Let's get into it. A masterpiece of wrought iron lattice rising into the European sky, the Eiffel Tower is one of the most instantly recognizable architectural pieces in the entire world. Constructed from 1887 to 1889 and created by architect Gustave Eiffel, the tower was not always received as popularly as it is today. Its contemporaries thought of it as an ugly grey thorn on the Parisian skyline. However, people soon grew to love the building for its stark appearance as much as the feeling of riding the escalator to its top and viewing the the sprawl of the French capital from high in the sky. And although its popularity is famous, it remains a lesser known fact that over 50 imitation Eiffel Towers have cropped up all over the world in places and for reasons that you might not expect. I had no idea it was 50 of them. The Tokyo Tower, a 333 meter tall impression of its European counterpart, marks its home city skyline as much as the original claims its own. Though the specifics of the Tokyo Tower's design mark it as influenced by the Eiffel Tower and not a true two-scale replica, this post-Second World War spire sports the Eiffel Tower's brand lattice steel construction in a vibrant red, meant as a symbol of Japan Japan's emergence as a global power in the second half of the 20th century, this tower is both a tourist attraction as well as a broadcast antenna. It was even the tallest building in the Japanese capital until 2012 when the Tokyo Skytree usurped its throne. That being said, Tokyo Tower still serves as an important landmark for the impact of westernization in Japan, both an economic and cultural homage to French architectural heights. In mainland Asia, China also houses many Eiffel Tower replicas. The most popular resides in the large city of Tiangdu Cheng. However, the architects of the city of Tiangdu Cheng wanted to more than simply replicate the tower. They wanted to bring the entire city of Paris to eastern China, from the thin, winding suburbs of the City of Light to individual destinations like a copy of the Versailles Neptune Fountain. Tiangdu Cheng aims to emulate the French metropolis in as many details as possible. It even has a replica Mona Lisa that tourists can visit. But what simulation of Paris would be complete without the Eiffel Tower? Tiangdu Cheng boasts its own, which, like the original, is a popular backdrop and happy photos of wedding couples. However, Tian Dunsheng's model is accurate in all but scale. At 100 meters tall, as opposed to its likeness's 350 meters, the Tian Dunsheng Eiffel Tower is just one third of the size. Visitors to the city also report that beyond architecture, Tian Dunsheng feels and lives more like its neighbor Chinese cities than Paris. And a little bit of a side note here on the Side Projects channel, I've actually been to this city. I've stood under that Eiffel Tower. It is a bizarre experience because the whole Champs-Élysées is just replicated. It's very bizarre. China also houses other replica Eiffel Towers, such as the one located in a theme park in Shenzhen, advertising itself as the window of the world. The idea behind this attraction is very similar to that of the Epcot World Showcase in Walt Disney World, to concentrate as many world cultures in the small physical space of an amusement park as possible. The park has many replicas of famous buildings from around the world, such as the pyramids, the Taj Mahal, and of course the Eiffel Tower. Though smaller than the original tower, this replica is quite faithful to Eiffel's original architecture. However, it does have wrought iron Mandarin characters signifying the park's name on one side of the tower itself. Among the Window of the World's many performances involves a light show setting the faux Parisian tower in a blast of rainbow colors and beams at night in a fantastic display of holiday fireworks. In South America, Brazil's mainland capital Brasilia sports a 224-meter high replica. Meant to bring Brazil into a new industrialized era, it isn't surprising that the architects of Brasilia wanted to show off more European influence to mark the new capital skyline. Today, the Brasilia TV Tower attracts over a quarter of a million visitors annually for those who want to experience the original tower's heights without having to pay to fly across the Atlantic. The 75-meter high observatory gives viewers a complete view of the Brazilian capital. As an attraction, the Brasilia TV Tower also centers around a market replicating the shopping and dining experience of central Paris with a South American style. Replica Eiffel Towers can be found across all of the seas. Then there's Sydney, Australia, which already has some of the most famous architecture in the world, the Sydney Opera House. 
It's possibly nearly as famous as the Eiffel Tower itself. Indeed, it overshadows some of Sydney's other buildings that might be of interest, particularly the AWA, known colloquially as Sydney's Eiffel Tower. Constructed in 1939, the AWA originally served as the headquarters for one of Australia's first wireless companies. Indeed, it was the city's tallest building until it was overtaken by a different skyscraper, of course. The AWA is not solely an Eiffel Tower, however. Rather, the Eiffel Tower portion sits upon a 12-floor office building that also houses a radio school, basement restaurant, and other particulars. North of the equator in the Western Hemisphere lies one of the most accurate Eiffel Tower replicas, the Gomez Palacio Eiffel Tower in Durango, Mexico. One of the reasons for the accuracy of this replication is its origins. The Gomez Palacio was donated to the municipality of the same name by the French consulate in Laguna in 2005. The image of Eiffel's work, backdropped by the blue skies of Mexico's deserts, is a sight quite different from the urban setting of the original. However, it's certainly no less beautiful. Interestingly, many Eiffel Tower replicas find themselves not so far away from the original in Europe. Eastern Europe especially houses many, one can imagine, the wrought iron spires like upside-down thumbtacks sticking out of a map. Parisa Russia houses a one-sixth model that functions, as so many do, as a television tower. In the Czech Republic, Prague's model was finished only two years after the initial tower. This was in 1891, and the Petrin Lookout Tower perhaps embodies the most true view from an Eiffel Tower replica. The Petrin Tower allows you to look out over the Czech capital and Vltava River that cuts through it. In Romania, visitors to the town of Slobozia can view another one-sixth model, a popular scale for Eiffel Tower replicas. In Greece, the surgeon Harris von Akers built a smaller 18 meet at all version to decorate one of the entrances to the town. Even France itself has a different Eiffel Tower in its southern region of Lyon for those who don't want to go all the way to Paris. But beyond listing the multitude of replicas of the Eiffel Tower, because there are many, many more, the question of their numbers itself is an interesting one to navigate. The influence of French architecture extends to America even beyond the famous Statue of Liberty. There are over 20 cities in the United States alone named Paris, many of them sporting their own Eiffel Tower, a monument to their namesake. As it turns out, the famous saying, everything's bigger in Texas, is often true, except in the case of the Eiffel Tower of Paris, Texas. This 65-foot tall replica isn't exactly a perfect two-scale model. At its tip stands a vibrant red Stetson-style cowboy hat, true to the spirit of the American Southwest. Constructed in 1993, this faux tower's claim to fame is that, well, you don't often see large buildings with giant hats on them. Not only that, but this Eiffel Tower's hat was specifically constructed in a friendly rivalry to make its home tower taller than the Eiffel Tower of Paris, Tennessee, constructed in the same year. Like many of the United States' Paris's, Paris, Tennessee is a small town whose name makes it appear all the more rural. This Paris's Eiffel Tower was constructed by Dr. Tom Morrison, civil engineering professor emeritus at Christian Brothers College in the state's capital of Memphis. At 60 feet tall, this replica is less than one-tenth the size of the original, though the story of its construction gives it heart. Besides the cost, over 10,000 construction hours were donated by students and community members of the college to see the steel tower through to completion. Why? Well, that was to one of the legacy of a French soldier who helped the United States become a nation. The United States' most accurate replica Eiffel Tower isn't in a city named Paris, however, and it wasn't created out of a selfless devotion to honoring a nation's allies. This one was rather built in a city of vices. Yes, the most famous Eiffel Tower replica has to be found in the city of Las Vegas, Nevada. Only accessible via an elevator and outfitted with the steel frames that made the original famous, it's no wonder this replica, like the original, is also a popular destination for suitors to propose marriage. This replica the Eiffel Tower is also fairly large, at about half the size of the original. Now, the world is host to many replica Eiffel Towers, one on every continent besides Antarctica, constructed for a variety of reasons. Some cities want a monument to attract visitors and income and copy one of the most famous attractions in the world. Others built their Eiffel Towers as a symbol of modernity, the wrought iron lattice style being famous for having been brought up in an era of industrialization and scientific upheaval. Honoring the history of France as an ally is another reason. There are truly many. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.